All right, hey guys, I'm back again. This is the kind of a review on the Eagle, or not the Eagle, what am I talking about? Point blank interceptor. All right, so everybody's seen an interceptor. This is an interceptor, but it's, um, I don't even know if it says it on here. Yeah, this just says interceptor, but it's more of a, it's an enhanced version. Uh, my other interceptor is out in the car. My issued one, this is an extra one that I happen to have. Um, but the regular interceptor, the molly for it usually ends about here. Everything about right about here. And it's all this stuff that's above it. You can see, see this one is a little bit different. It has molly all the way up on the chest. This is Velcro right here. And then it's got some molly up here. So these are useful for like clipping a radio handset. And then on the back, there's Molly right here that you could also clip a handset or route your uh, comm cables through or route a camelback tube through. So, basics. This is a front opening vest. Put it on just like any other vest. It's got Molly across the front. You got, these are your interceptor cut panels. Interceptor, uh, interceptor cut are a right side and a left side that's smaller and then a back panel and as you know the spears panel cut are one front and one back so I mean what else can you say about an interceptor um, when you put plates in it the plate pocket is right here so the front plate and the back plate goes in there and like most other people I hate the interceptor um, there's really no padding on the shoulders, so all the weight just comes down on your shoulders. Even if you try and tighten up the sides, it doesn't really tighten around your, your torso very well, so all the weight just rides on your shoulders. So, the interceptor is something you can find really cheap if you want to have it for a shit hit the, hits the fan situation, or for home defense, or for a Katrina type situation. It's a good option, it's cheap, but for comfortable, for comfortness, or comfort, you would want to go with uh, something that's a box or a spear cut, because usually the, car the carriers that hold that armor are a lot more. Uh, you have more options because you can use a cummerbund on it, which obviously which tightens around the torso and puts the load onto your hips. So, I don't have a Cyrus anymore. I wish I did, so I could explain to you the Cyrus. And I did have an HSGI Centurion, which is the precursor to the MTV, and I don't have that anymore. But I do have an MTV, and I'll upload a video once I go get it out of the car and reassemble it from the last time that I used it. So, so a couple other parts I guess that I can explain. Right here, these are straps for attaching your yoke collar, and then right here you got your straps for attaching your groin protector. You can also put side plates on this, but you need side plate carriers. two. These are just one style. There's also a style that's a little bit stubbier than these. It's got molly on one side. This is the left side. And you just put these straps. You can put them through like two of these straps and then have the other ones, depending on how tight this is, have them run through here. And then this thing comes around it all. So this is what's touching your skin. This is like a, uh, this is a neoprene. And then it just opens up on the side. You got your side tight. You got your side plate. And you got soft armor. So then you can add these to the kit and have side plate carrier protection. But then again, if you're also wearing side plates, you're definitely going to want to go with a, a better carrier. So for cheap protection, interceptor is a good way to go. But if you want comfortness, you're going to want to go upgrade to a different carrier. A couple other makers also make carriers that will accept interceptor panels. Uh, Tactical Tailor makes one. Beast Combat Systems makes one. Um, If you can find an, uh, an HSGI Centurion, they take interceptor panels as well, and they're pretty comfortable. You can also get a cummerbund kit for it. Um, so there's there's other. Basically, your interceptor is your baseline armor carrier. There's you can always upgrade from it, and I highly recommend you do so if it's going to be something that you're going to be carrying for personal contracting or anything like that. I mean, if you're military, you're going to wear what you're issued. So.
like I said, this is just an extra one that I happened to acquire on my travels. So, this is actually for my wife. My wife wears this one. If I, if the need ever should arise, she wanted to keep this. I was going to sell it. Just to keep it so. so, there's your interceptor vest. Alright. Good molly on the back. I wore mine when I had an interceptor. I wore this carrier on the back for hydration. You can also wear a... Here's the Tactical Tailor map pack that I had. Molly on the back, you can also attach it on there. So, like I said, good basic modular armor carrier. You can probably find one with the soft armor panels on eBay for like 100 bucks. So, there you go. Interceptor made by Point Blank. Alright, thanks. See you later.